This conference yes. will now be recorded. Okay, so we have discussed about the alert. Okay, and in alert, we have seen alert dot dismiss, alert dot accept. Okay, and then we will see some more controls. What are the alert different methods? Okay, so this is about alerts and frames. So after clicking on, we have this one. So I will click on a cancel. Okay, after I click on, here we will see both the examples. Okay, so launch this browser, you know, this site. Okay, so how you have to launch? Uh, in the same we can see, or else we can create a new class. I will give demo a lot to public static void main. Yes, we need and. Uh, what we need initial setup as it is okay so driver dot get and these three lines are same demo alert two so i have given this and i want to launch this page we'll give it here yes okay so now we are on this page now after we are on this page okay so let me confirm okay we are on this page and then after we have to click on here okay so once i click here on this button we have the alert okay so this is the id of that element so i will write driver dot find element by dot id and which is your id is and then click operation we will perform which operation we will perform click okay so after i click on this we have this alert okay so this is your alert so how you have to create a alert create a alert with this alert alert equals to new sorry alert alert equals to driver dot switch to alert so now this alert object is pointing to this alert okay so driver dot switch to alert will switch the control of your execution to this alert okay so now initially the execution was on this page okay so initially execution was on this page now because you click here this alert is available now okay so on this alert you have to click something so you have to go to that okay so you have to switch to it so we are using driver dot switch to alert so on this page this is a alert so now your control is on this so send keys is so for example test i want to give and then okay okay so whatever you write this object alert dot send keys okay so it will type that text okay so what i i want to write as a test okay so this i want to and then alert dot dismiss you click or you click accept okay so alert dot dismiss what it will do it will click on a cancel okay so it will type something here and it will click on a cancel so now i will run it able to understand what send keys will perform alert dot send keys send keys method we already know send keys method will type in that input box okay so the execution will be very faster yes will not be able to see so in order to make a understanding we can use thread dot sleep what two seconds we will wait and then semicolon okay and to this thread dot sleep i will write a throws declaration because it throws a exception and then i will run it okay so without this throws declaration it will show error so we have added this throws and then now execute now you will be able to see chrome successfully started 
and uh, demo QA alerts. Okay, now it is open and then enter your name. Okay, it is not send keys is used to type on that alert. Okay, so it is two seconds also passed very fast. Yes. So what if if I write five? Okay, so nowadays all the web pages not having the alerts. Okay, not every web page will have the alert. Few will have, few will not have. Okay, so wherever there is an alert, we have to handle the alert. Okay, so the type input is not working. Send keys, it is not. Alert dot send keys, it did not work. Rajini, we have to identify that identify element. The box, uh, element like ID. So alert, I... we are on that alert only, right? So we are on that alert. What is there again to inspect? No. Okay. So we are on a alert. So there are four methods: alert dot get text, alert dot dismiss. So this is this button has some. Okay. Issue. Can we try uh, alert dot get text instead of send keys? No. Okay. So was there any text present? Mm. Yes. So if I write inside this is out. Okay. Uh, alert dot get text we will see what it will print okay so and uh, so thread dot slip is not needed at all so there was a no text okay please enter your name this is your text so these are the methods on a alert to work with okay so nowadays on a web page there are very few times there are these alerts okay so wherever there is a alert you can handle this way click on that okay button cancel button Okay, so this is about it. Okay, for example, now we will see some other examples frames. Okay, so if there is a frame on a page, frame means what? Page inside page. Okay, so there is a frame means what? Frame is one more another web page. This is a frame. Inspect inspect and this is again a html document and uh, again you have a head body Okay, so this is again a one more web page on a page. Okay, so why this kind of frames are available on a page to create the sections of your page. Okay, so to showcase different pages inside web page. This is the frames used by the developers. Okay, so when there is an element in this frame, what you have to do, you have to switch to this frame means your control is on this main window and you have to go to this frame then you can perform a, any action on that elements present on that frame okay so for example there are different available different controls are available on this page so you have to perform the actions on this page so what you have to do you have to switch to this frame
okay so uh, if there is a frame you have to switch to frame okay so how you will understand there is a frame okay the question is how you will understand there is a frame so if there is a frame view frame source this is the option you will get okay and one more thing is your locator is not working Okay, so your locator is not working. For example, your locator is not working. Sorry guys, okay. So if your locator is not working and it is showing you one of one, but it is not working, okay. So you have to cross verify that does that element is on a frame or on a page, okay. So if it is on a frame, that will not work because you have to switch to frame and then only it will work. So you have to check. Okay, so uh, frame. So, how to switch to frame? You have to identify the frame. Okay, so there is a frame ID available with that you can identify the frame and switch to the frame okay so you can you can switch to the frame so you can you have to write driver dot switch to and uh, driver dot switch to frame okay so there are methods in this so by index by name or by id yes we can't see your eclipse code okay so uh, i'm on this page only not on okay so now able to see okay Yes or no? Yes, Rajini, we can see yes. the eclipse now. Okay, so we will write a program for it, switch to the frame through ID. Okay, so the ID is available in this frame. So we will see the driver dot switch to frame and ID we have to provide. So the ID is this sample heading. This I will provide. So our control is on this frame okay so what is uh, use after you switch to this frame so whatever different elements present on as of now there are no elements okay so there is a complete page this is itself this frame itself is a complete web page right so there can be another elements multiple things okay so you have to perform different actions on that so this is also one of the another frame okay so this frame and elements present on that frame perform the actions on that frame so for that we have to switch to frame okay so how to switch to the frame 
we can switch by index index means 0 1 2 index will start from 0 so 0 means your first frame on a page okay so frame will always be represented with this iframe tag okay so see on this page there are nine frames okay this is the frame this is one frame and this is these are maybe hidden frames available okay this bottom section is also one frame like this there are different frames available on this okay so id may be difficult to know okay what is the index of this one so we will go with the uh, indexes we will not go with the index okay index is very difficult because there are nine frames on this page okay so we'll take this id and how you will write so driver dot switch to frame right so driver dot switch to dot frame you can give the id of that frame okay or else you can complete web element you can create and that web element you can pass okay so this is your page demo frames uh, after this we will launch that or else we can navigate driver dot navigate dot two and this one after you go to the frames page switch to the frame okay so the different operations you can perform on this frame whatever elements are present okay if it is by index it is simple driver dot switch to dot frame and index you have to pass zero or one like this okay that frame the control will go on to that frame okay with id you have to specify the id of that frame id of that frame so frame id is here guys okay so this is frame id that is frame one okay so for this page for this frame h1 is this tag frame one is a id okay so copy it control f there are okay id as a frame there is only one okay so sample heading is a heading of that frame so now i want to get the text of this heading okay what is this heading that is present inside this frame we will see it properly okay which is where and you will be able to understand it okay so let me expand this okay so here we will see so this is your frame okay so this is your frame frame one is the id of that frame inside that frame there are different elements so this is your frame heading so i want to get this heading of this frame okay so this heading i want to print on a console so you have to switch to this frame so now we are on this frame with this driver dot switch to frame okay this index is not the exact one frame one is the id of this frame id of the frame how we are able to understand with this frame tag iframe tag so iframe tag is used to create the frame in the web page so id of this iframe is nothing but a frame id okay that is one we have given so now control is on this frame and you can perform any action on this page okay so as you can take this page as a complete 
new page and then you can work okay so this is the locator that is id so i have to create a web element or you can write like this driver dot find element by dot id and this is your id and dot get text get text it will return the text present on that element which element heading okay so it is a heading yes so there is a text present on this heading i want to store in a one variable string heading equals to or else you can write title heading anything okay so now if i print this one what this heading the value of this variable it will print the text which is this one this is a sample page yes so this alert alert dismiss entire thing i do not want so this alert and everything we do not want okay so driver dot get or driver dot navigate will do the same thing so i do not want this driver dot get as well directly we are navigating to that we will see the execution now okay what is it is printing this is a sample page yes if i am not switching to that frame will it work or not we will see okay so that you understand do we need to navigate to the frame or not okay so now i will close this okay so there is no output so this value this element your driver is not able to find this element because that is on this frame yes that is on another frame it is not able to find so you have to switch to that frame and then only it will work okay is this frame is equal to images no okay so images we no need to switch to the image okay image we will not validate in the automation okay the content present inside image we cannot validate the colors or the combination the diagram whatever it is okay only the thing image available or not kind of verification we can do that then. and frame is one more page okay it will have different controls like it they can can here can here uh... rajni there is some problem i think we can't hear you guys able to hear me yeah yes such me no yes okay uh, there was a connection loss in between okay so you have to switch to the frame and then this frame okay so in this example you might be thinking okay the frame is like a image or something no i will give you some more example so that you understand what is a frame actually okay uh, spice jet on this page we can see the different frames so frame is the component of your page it is again a one page web page okay 
um, inspect and uh, control F iframe I will check okay so slash slash iframe how many frames are there okay so okay which is a frame see so this is also one frame this is also one frame okay so this ask miss paper that is also one frame so if you click on the conversation will start right again so it will have the different controls okay so what it will have it will have the different controls and then i will create here only okay control f i frame so what is the frame this is one frame other frames are maybe hidden frames somewhere Okay, the different uh, frames are okay. So, Bargavi, the question is can we identify hidden frames? Okay, so the question is you are asking like you want to find hidden frames okay but we no need to find the hidden element because if that element is hidden we will not perform any action on that we will perform the testing on the elements which are visible on a web page if hotels is not visible it is hidden we will not perform testing for that hotels right because it is kept hidden because there is no meaning of that button on a ui for present situation or present functionality the hotel is not having anything so developer for time being making it as a hidden or hiding it okay or there is some other reason but whenever that element is not available displayed on a page we will not hidden element means what that are not displayed on a page yes so we don't need to work with the hidden elements okay so we will work with the elements what are displayed and then perform the positive negative testing and then continue with that so we have to perform the scroll operation with the javascript okay you can use instead of send keys you can use javascript executor to write on to the element okay type something or you have to scroll then you can use a javascript executor to scroll page to the bottom if a element is on a bottom of a page okay and then you have to scroll so such operation you can perform with that that we will see okay so that we will see later so now you understood a uh, frame is there and for frame you have to switch to how you have to switch to driver dot switch to frame Rajini, do we need import any packages for frames? Just a minute, guys.
um so guys uh, i have one another call guys so we will continue tomorrow okay so whatever questions you have will continue tomorrow okay